all coming together. I think this is going to be my first successful fire lighting. It is our unofficial Christmas day. We are doing an early Christmas and I am trying to do the man's duty and get a fire going. The final touch. I've got a good feeling about this one. Okay, fire. Come on. Catch. Things are happening in there. Although I've got to this stage before and failed. The owners came in last night and made it look so easy. And I was like, I can do this. And now I'm doubting myself. I don't have as much kindling as he had. I think I've finally succeeded in lighting the fire. I've been sitting here for at least 25 minutes trying to make this fire catch light. I think I finally did it. I didn't have any kindling, so I've made a teepee shape with the logs and then put newspapers in the center and chipped off some bark. I think it's finally caught. Quite pleased with that. Let's see what Sasha's been up to all this time. <laughs> What's going on in the kitchen world? Making breakfast. Mm, smells nice. Bacon, eggs. Sausage and pikelets. Pikelets. Later today we're going to be putting these into our Christmas meal. You can't get much fresher than a carrot with soil on it. We have all our Christmas presents set out on the table and on the floor. This Christmas tree is actually a real tree. I'm not sure if it's an actual Christmas tree Christmas tree, but it is a real plant because you have to water it. It's nice. Now we don't have to carry a huge tree with us and we have our own mini little Christmas set up. It looks very foggy and cold out there today. And Sasha has brought breakfast. That looks nice. It smells lovely. We've set up a little Christmassy scene, took some photographs. And now we're going to watch The Legend of Kells, which is a film by the Cartoon Saloon, Sash. Is that what they're called? Mm, the same people that made Song of the Sea. Song of the Sea is my film of the moment. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. It's by an Irish film company called Cartoon Saloon and it's really sweet. I really liked it. This is their older film, so I'm gonna see what it's like. Finished watching the film, it's really nice. I like those kind of movies. Definitely worth checking out. This morning's fire has gone out and we are just deciding on what to do this afternoon. The weather is not great. It's actually snowing outside. It's been raining quite a lot and now it's turned to snow. It's very small flakes, but it's definitely snow. <laughs> we wanted to go to the aqueduct today. With weather like this, it won't be that nice walking around, so we might go into town and have some lunch and then see what the weather's like afterwards. Tangokan is covered in a shroud of mist today. Not like yesterday. It's a good thing we did our walk yesterday when we uh, had the opportunity, because now we wouldn't be able to see a thing up there. When we first planned to come up to Wales, we wanted to climb Mount Snowdon but we checked the weather forecast for the summit and it's supposed to be minus eight, terrible visibility. So it's not gonna be worth it. We could probably still do the walk, but we wouldn't be able to show anything another time. Oh, it's a Cocker Spaniel. Yeah, it's like a young one. No. Right, we've chosen our place to eat. Cottage tea rooms, traditional Welsh fare. We chose this place because they have traditional Welsh food here and I got a traditional Welsh stew and Sasha got a Welsh cream tea. A Welsh cream tea, so we thought when in Wales, eat Welsh food. <laughs> also the inside looks very old fashioned and they've got a Christmas tree up. Once again, no latte art, but most of the coffees we've had have been quite tasty, haven't they Sash? Little pot of jam, quite a chunky looking scone. Is that real cream? Real potted cream. Mm. And my stew does look rather chunky. Coffee tastes pretty good. It's not as nice as the one we had yesterday at Chatwind, but still good. Look at that thick cream. 
calorific. Yeah, the only way to eat a scone. <laughs> Thick cream and cream on first, jam on second. You should note for anybody that doesn't know, the cream tea isn't actually a cream tea, it's just regular tea with milk, but then you get a scone with cream too. So if you ever see traditional cream tea on the menu, you're gonna get a scone of some kind as well. We've decided to bear the weather and go to the aqueduct anyway, see what it looks like. But my jacket is broken. I pulled the zip up and using brute strength, I <laughs> tore the metal in half. So now I'm zipless and my coat is wide open. <laughs> I do believe I've owned this coat for over five or six years though now, Sash. It's done its job well. Yeah. <laughs> we're just parking and then we're gonna go and see what this aqueduct is all about. I brought the SLR with me to take pictures, but I don't think I'm gonna get it out of the bag because it's got that horrible rain that doesn't look like anything or feel like anything and the sky looks poo. So we're just gonna observe it by eye. Okay, we've found our way to the top. Uh, apparently this is the largest aqueduct in the whole of Britain. It is pretty damn big. If you come here at the right time of year, you can hire one of these boats to take you across. It goes all the way to the other side of town. The stream in the sky. Is that what it's called? Yeah. It's pretty cool. Let's go for a walk. I read this morning that this place was built years and years ago but the joints are sealed with lead and liquid sugar, believe it or not. God knows how that works, but it's still standing today and it feels pretty solid, doesn't it? Yeah. Doesn't look like it's about to fall down anytime soon. Oh, this would be stunning if the weather was nice. I know it's difficult to experience vertigo through a camera, but we are pretty damn high right now. Quite disorientating when you're walking because you've got the water on here going that way and the water here going that way and you're walking it feels strange yeah <laughs> apparently about 15 years ago this aqueduct used to be full of old tires and oil and stuff like that and they cleaned it up and now it's become a bit of a major tourist attraction for the whole district it's a good thing they did clean it up really well let's go to the walk that goes underneath the bridge the viewpoint, yeah there we are. It says it was built in 1795. Oh look, five foot three deep. So it could Whoa. take your whole body. Deeper than me. One inch over your head. <laughs> Apparently it only cost 47 grand to build that, but then back in the 1800s, 47 grand would have been a lot of money. There we are. Aqueduct viewpoint walk. Let's do it. finished the viewpoint walk but honestly I'm a bit underwhelmed <laughs> it was a, it was a better better up the top yeah. wasn't it there's an ugly building here right in front of it which kind of ruins the view but yeah. we're gonna head back up now because the weather is miserable back to the car and back to the house to open our Christmas presents excited about Christmas presents I've got a Christmas dinner to cook we've got a Christmas dinner to cook I'm not one of those lazy guys that does no cooking by the way <laughs> yeah <laughs> really? yeah <laughs> By the way, if you ever see me not cooking, it's because Sash doesn't want me to cook. Yeah, because you get in my way. There you go. <laughs> Just for reference, this is the actual viewpoint that you're supposed to walk to, up here in the hills. But we weren't sure, so we went down to the river. Can't see much of it from here, but still. At least you can see a little bit more of its grandeur from here. We've got some logs for the fire and some kindling this time. So it should be easier to light. Sasha is preparing dinner, master of gammon today. What are we making? We are having roast gammon with a parsnip, carrot and potato mix, hash thing and stuffing balls and sausages. I'm going to leave Sasha to it. I'm going to get a twiglet because Sasha and I always associate Christmas time with twiglets. Yeah, I don't know why. We just never buy them any other time of year. And we only have them in 
good. They don't exist anywhere else, I don't think. No. Mm. Love Twiglet. If anybody doesn't know what Twiglet tastes like, they kind of taste like Marmite crispy things. And don't try and ask me to explain what Marmite tastes like because it's impossible to describe. Dinner is almost ready. I can hear Sasha finishing up in the kitchen. Table is set nicely, if I do say so myself. What's left? This is it. What is it? It is the potato, parsnip, carrot and stuffing. That sounds nice. Very Christmassy. So, what do you think? It looks very nice and I want to eat it. Yeah, let's eat it before it goes too <laughs> cold. Sasha and I have never been very traditional people, so we'll always go for something that's not turkey. Isn't it? <laughs> like the year before we did duck, now we've done gammon. gammon. So it may be a month prior to Christmas, but this is our Christmas. I'm ready to eat, if you are. Hey, yes, let's do it. Right, it's time for the cracker competition. Sasha and I have made our own crackers and we are competing to see whose is better. I haven't seen Sasha's yet, but this is my cracker that I made for her. I see you went for size. No, I went for the rustic look. <laughs> the Sasha's one looks pretty. Let's just have a good pull and see which one works better. <laughs> that was terrible. Let's see what I have inside the cracker. I have to say though, I think mine looks prettier and I like my little tag and my sparkles, but Jay has actually made like a structurally sound <laughs> cracker end. <laughs> That's quite impressive. Look, it cut little things in it and everything. So that's quite good. I didn't do that. So I got points for that. Yeah, and you put little like scraps in it. <laughs> the cracker contents is also very important. Ah, oh, little necklace. Two necklaces. Two necklaces. <laughs> two necklaces. Double the power. <laughs> You've got two choices of colour, one brown oh. and earthy, and one blue like the sea. What is in the second bag? A Welsh sheep. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> and this is a memento of our Welsh Christmas. Oh, oh and it says, Cangochlin Ceramics, handmade in Wales. Something to remember oh, Wales that's by. Nice. Thanks, Bambi. <laughs> Alright, let's try it pulling right. on Sasha's sweetie cracker. Oh, I don't want to ruin it. You have to. Oh. Three, two, one. Pull it. Pull harder. Oh, it's so Okay, pull. <laughs> Mine's indestructible. An indestructible cracker. <laughs> a little scroll, I think that is. Matchbox puzzle, put your brain to the test. And a chocolate bear. <laughs> Jay's cracker contents. Okay, go for one of the scrolls. It says, what do reindeer hang on their Christmas trees? Hornaments. <laughs> Okay, so cracker fun is over. Who do you think won? Let us know in the comments below, me or Jay. Dinner has been feasted upon. Crackers have been pulled. So, what is le next for this Christmas day? Presents! We have been extremely patient and waited until after dinner to open our cards and presents, as well as gifts for each other. My mum and dad actually sent us away with gifts from them as well, so that was really nice of them both, and means we have an extra big pile of gifts to open. Okay, all the cards have been read, all the presents have been opened. We got some pretty cool coffee-related items from Sasha's mum and dad, but... My favourite gift of all is this, I have to say. Sasha has bought me a new Swiss Army knife that says, for all our adventures, the next chapter. Now the story goes that I had a black Swiss Army knife exactly like this, which said, for all our adventures on it, and it was stolen from me in Thailand, and I've always missed it, and every single time something that came up that required the pen knife, I was like, if only I had my pen knife. And now Sasha has bought me a new one, Mark II, which I'm very pleased about. It has been another very lovely day here in Wales and it looks like the fire needs another log thrown on it. That is it for today, we're gonna end the vlog here. We're gonna go make a tea and have some dessert. Hope you liked today. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button or you can check out this orange button here to see how you can support our channel. If you haven't done so already, please do hit that subscribe button and you can stay up to date with all our videos and adventures. 
we are also going to leave a link in the description below to the place that we are staying in this lovely converted chapel so if you want more information on that then check out the links below. Seeing that cocker spaniel earlier in the rain made me miss Eden. Of course, we are really missing her, but we know and we have heard that she's having fun with Chloe in Chiang Mai. So if you're missing her, check out this picture. That's all for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, let's get a log on this fire without burning myself. Could have done that a bit more gracefully, I think. Right. Hopefully that one will catch. <laughs>